So we've got Brilliant Restoration. Return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield for seven mana. Ooh, Kappa Tech Wrecker. I really like this card. There's four uncommons in this pack. Is that the thing? Is this is that how this set goes? It has a an uncommon that's a saga and then three regular uncommons. So out of this pack, I think we could take Lord, Fall of Lord Conda, Kappa Tech Wrecker, or Brilliant Restoration and just go super deep. But this is probably not actually any good. I'm going to take this Kappa Tech Wrecker. I just really like this card. I like it flavorfully. It's a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Love Ninja Turtles. March of Reckless Joy. Is an additional cost that you may exile the cards from your hand. Exile the top X cards of your library. Yo, what up, Slurms? Two Moto draft in. Open the blue rare land and a beside you. Saga slot can be any rarity. Ah, okay. So there's always a Saga slot, but it can be any rarity. Nice. Good to know. And hey, that sounds awesome. Uh, he, well, not, not awesome that you opened two lands, <laughs> but awesome that you're two drafts in. High speed hover bike. This thing is pretty has been pretty sweet against us. I think that's what I'm going to take here. There's nothing particularly exciting about it, about this pack. Also, hello. Wow, Boseju was 41 when you sold it. Is that on Moto? Are you playing Moto? 41 ticks? Or are you talking 41 real life dollars for like you paper drafted? Okay, this Orochi Merge Keeper. That seems pretty good to me. Goes with our tech wrecker. Tamio's Completion, definitely good. So Tamio's Completion is probably the best card in this pack. Forty-one ticks. Wow. What is Boseju? Is Boseju getting played? I guess Boseju is freaking really strong, isn't it? For is it in modern? Like, why is that so? Why is that worth so much? I think we're gonna take this Merge Keeper. Stay on color. Tamiya's completion is, is really strong too. So we've got Naomi Pillar of Order. We've got a greater Tanuki. Poseidon is great in modern and legacy. What does it do in legacy that's so good? I can, I mean, I guess I don't really know the landscape of either modern or legacy right now. Strong and standard and pioneer too. Wow. Poseidon does seem pretty awesome. I kind of just want this Tanuki. We could also take this Repel the Vile. Or a Grave Lighter. I'm just going to stay on color and take a Tanuki. So here, got a Nazumi Prowler. I think this card is quite good. Oh, it takes out Blood Moon Chal. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. There, that's a lot of stuff. Basically, all the sideboard cards anybody plays. That is, that is pretty nuts. Mm, I think we're gonna take this. Uh, take this Nazumi Prowler here. Maybe end up in green black. Ooh, I do. I like Circuit Mender quite a bit. Lethal Exploit is nice, though. This pack has a lot of good stuff. We could take Sunblade Samurai, Season of Renewal, Lethal Exploit. I think any of those are good. Just 
channel makes a two mana dork. Yeah, careful cultivation. You're right. You're right. The channel on that. I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll give that a, some consideration next time. I was just thinking of it as the enchantment, but having just a two mana mana dork here actually would have been great, wouldn't it have? I'm going to take the lethal exploit there. Another careful cu cultivation. Another tanuki. Or an ogre ninja. Man. I think I'd rather have another tanuki. Maybe first careful cultivation is better than second tanuki. The Gucci Shadow Walker actually seems quite good too. I'll take a careful cultivation here. I do like the, ooh, spinning wheel kick. And a Coiling Stalker, wow. Well, it looks like green is the right color to be in. <laughs> uh, and spinning wheel kick goes really well with everything we have so far, doesn't it? It's like the ramp, the ramp deck. Dream. Story weave. Put two plus one plus one counters. Put two lore counters on a saga. The next time one or more enchantment creatures enters the battlefield under your control, this turn each enters with two additional plus one plus one counters. This doesn't seem great. I think it's better than anything else in the pack though. So we'll take the story weave. Turn to action. I'm just gonna take a blossoming sand here. We may, we're, we're not locked into black yet. So I'm just gonna take lands at this point. I don't think we want another story weave. I do think we want a bearer of memory. Bearer of memory gives us something to do with all the mana we're gonna be. Hopefully slash theoretically <laughs> coming into. Uh, Harmonious Existence. Maybe Favor of the Jukai is better. Yeah, we'll take a Favor of the Jukai. It's just a combat trick if we need it to be. So right now, we're basically just green. This high-speed hover bike in green actually seems quite good. Ooh, another bear memory for us. Ooh, a Boseju. Too bad I can't get 41 ticks off this. I think we want it anyway, though. Orochi Merge Keeper is fantastic. Arrest is fantastic. But Boseju is a land that destroys artifacts, enchantments, or non-basic lands. I mean, artifacts and enchantments is the main reason to play it. Yeah, I think I think we're just taking Poseidon here, even though this Orochi Merge Keeper is exactly what we want. Poseidon is just a land slot that does good things. Okay, here we could take another Coiling Stalker, and I think that would be excellent. So here's the thing. It seems like nobody is in green. <laughs> so this Gloom Shrieker in green black might wheel. I don't think this Coiling Stalker will wheel though. I don't think it's worth the risk. I'm gonna take the Gloom Shrieker. I really want that Coiling Stalker though. All right, so Azusa's Many Journeys. This did not play that well in Sealed. Might be different in Draft. Uh, I'm just going to take a Master's Rebuke, though. Master's Rebuke with the Tech Wrecker. Great combo. <laughs> There's a Coiling Stalker. Also a Twisted Embrace. I 
I think we want the Coiling Stalker. Get the modified stuff. Twisted Embrace isn't really the removal I want to be playing for the most part. Although in green, we... Ooh, another Coiling Stalker. Yeah, we'll take another Coiling Stalker here. Grafted Growth for some ramp. That might wheel for now. If we get that other Merge Keeper back, that would be really nice too. Mm, I think we're just going to take a Grove Archer. Blade Blesser. Blade Blesser doesn't seem to do a ton in our deck. This is a very weird, <laughs> very weird deck. I think what we're looking for is some more Tanukis. <laughs> I think that's what we want right now. Ooh, a Gloom Shrieker. Ooh, a Tamiyo Safekeeping. Ooh, I want both. Oh, man. We're, we're going to take a Gloom Shrieker. So now we want some Ninjutsu stuff. <laughs> Ninjutsu and back Gloom Shrieker is so much value. Take a Chukai trainee here. Undercity Scrounger here. Don't really want either of those that much. Chukai trainee may be good though. Geothermal Kami. Actually, Ninja's Kunai. The Ninja's Kunai has seemed very good. Oh, Coiling Stalker came back. That's our third Coiling Stalker. So we want stuff that wants us to be modified. Lots of stuff that wants us to be modified. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me now. We want some of those deer, the five mana deer that lets you it gives you some card value. That would be nice. We need we need some payoffs is what we need right now. Mm. Repel the vial. Blossoming sands. Just take another land. We'll take a Repel the Vile. We may splash that if we don't have... So Twisted Embrace. <laughs> Seems that people don't like Twisted Embrace as much as I don't like Twisted Embrace. We'll take a Grafted Groove. Take a Song Shaper. Yeah, Twisted Embrace has seemed very dangerous to play. You have to pick like... You have to pick your spots. Ooh, is this a payoff? As an additional... Okay, choose target creature with mana value X or less than X. Search your library for a creature card with the same name as that creature. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's annoying. But this is a colossal sky turtle. Yeah? Yeah? Colossal sky turtle? Are we doing it? I think we're doing it. I think... <laughs> I think we're doing the Sky Turtle. I think we're going to find some blue and find a way to play the Sky Turtle. <laughs> uh, could take another Twisted Embrace. Could take a Futurist Operative. We could go like three color. I think here it's between Jukai Preserver, Ninja's Kunai, And that's it. We're going to take a Jukai Preserver. We're kind of in the modified deck, but without much to modify. 
Oh man, the Kami War again. I think it's too late for us to be the Kami War deck. However, there's nothing else in this pack I want. <laughs> Could take this Mukatai Ambusher. I'm going to take the Kami War. I think we can't play it, but we're going to look and try and find it. Uh, if we can get a bunch of fixing real fast, doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll take none of this. Take another two drop. Our deck is just mono two drops right now. Life of Toshiro Umazawa, Fade into Antiquity. Or another Coiling Stalker. You know what? We're going to take a Walking Skyscraper. Uh, we have lots of ways to modify creatures. We need big stuff. This is big stuff. So Thornwood Falls, good for us. Dokuchi Silencer though. This is a nice ninjutsu card to get back like a Gloom Shrieker or just give us some removal. Another Bearer of Memory. Under Skitty Scrounger. Ooh, another spinning wheel kick. That's really nice. Yeah, we'll take another spinning wheel kick. So we only have a few top end cards. We have a lot of ramp to play only a few big things. But we also have the spinning wheel kick. We have some good removal. And we have we have a lot of early game as well. We can <laughs> I mean, we have three coiling stalkers. We can get stuff back. This isn't the deck that I want to be playing, for sure. Take Kami. I guess we just do. I'm surprised to see a volatile surge around so late. Unforgiving one actually seems good in this deck too, doesn't it? Thornwood Falls, yes. Getting a green blue land there. It's actually pretty nice because we've got that sky turtle. All right, so here. What have we got going on? We gotta cut some stuff at the two drop slot. I think one bamboo grove archer is enough. I do think this high speed hover bike is pretty good for us. That's removal. We don't have any ways to dig for fixing, but we can just get stuff back from our graveyard with this if we don't have our splash. It's 
So I kind of like just going, I think we want to go six, one, and then eight green. Maybe this Tamiyo safekeeping isn't that great here. Removal, removal. Removal. Maybe three of these is too many. Let's go down to two. Wait, we don't have that many enchantment creatures, do we? She can put counters on herself, though. I don't think we want that geothermal cami either. What are we returning with it? Not much for value. I do like this safekeeping. <laughs> it's like Ranger's Guile. I just, I really like to have one in my decks. We can go down to one bearer of memory, maybe. maybe. Maybe we cut the silencer. does seem really strong here though cut the ninja's kunai I think we cut this bamboo grove archer actually. We're and just go on the offensive. Cut one of these bearer of memories. So basically our game plan is to just dump our hand. Dump our hand in the early game, get a bunch of damage in. And if the board stalls out, we've got a couple of ways to break a stall. Maybe this careful consideration actually should be cut. Yeah, actually, I'm going to cut the careful consideration. Ooh, do we want Twisted Embrace? I think we cut the careful consideration. Bring in another Bear of Memory. Hmm. This is tough. We're kind of two different decks. <laughs> we have one deck that wants to kill people really fast and one deck that wants to cast really big things. However, All right, so we're going to get rid of the Sky Turtle. We're going to abandon the the Sky Turtle plan. And we're going to go for a more streamlined, just 
feet plan. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to try this out. We'll see how this feels. We can always switch back, switch the turtle back in. But I think what we're going to try and do is just have that, uh, have that artifact be our top end because we can cast it with a bunch of modified creatures. And we just want to kind of ramp into a ton of stuff on board, getting things back with our... So this is, this is kind of what we want. <laughs> uh... So let's see, we can go something like, we'll keep this. Turn one kunai. Turn two. Weird card, I don't, I don't know if that's actually any good. We're just going to play this Coiling Stalker out normally. Then next turn, we can tap something down. Or we can play an Unforgiving one. attack and then play an unforgiving one Next turn, if we draw a land. All right, interesting. They can't quite crew that yet. Preserver, but it's counter on itself. We're kind of just on the beats plan now. <laughs> They've got a lot of mana over there, but we've got the high speed hover bike to tap something down. Ooh, that's really scary. kick we 
Take that. the turn we can oh, was there a turn that I could have equipped this not sure I think we're going to go ahead and attack with everything. Assuming they're going to crew. Ooh, that's nice too. Yeah, we're going to attack with everything. Assuming they crew. We probably high speed hover bike. Do we high speed hover bike tap it down or do we just kill it with lethal exploit? I'm gonna. I'm gonna tap it down. they go no blocks I'm gonna and shoot to our other coiling stalker if they do that we're gonna kill this okay so far so good <laughs> Hey, hey, we won a game. Huzzah. I don't know. I don't know what to think of our deck. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it, but I think that was, I mean, we kind of just curved out there and did good things, but coiling stalker right away like that, having three of them, we can kind of reliably, reliably do that. Well, let's try it again. Let's. Let's see what happens. See if we can get a couple more wins out of this. All right. So this time we can go Turn to hover bike. We are just going to tap that down. Question is on turn three. 
I think we go bearer of memory. So we go bearer of memory. Attack with the hover bike. Or we can go Tanuki ramp. Get Tanuki back with Gloom Shrieker. Hmm. Tanuki, ramp us up. Gloom Shrieker. Get it back. Yeah. Or just play bearer of memory and not get hit. No, I think that they are slow, which gives us the opportunity to do to do something like this to go Tanuki Gloom Shrieker get it back then we get to attack with Gloom Shrieker potentially Takuchi Silencer uh returning <laughs> Gloom Shrieker <laughs> all right there's some best case scenario mentality right there um more likely we'll go Tanuki for Forest. Whoa. Are you going to remove a death touch counter from that and kill my hover bike? Sure. Well, that sucks. My poor hover bike. That hover bike was difficult to navigate with, though. So, not too disappointed that it's gone. All right, we're gonna discard Tanuki. Get a forest. Play a swamp. Loom Shrieker. Get back to Nuki. Jukai trainee. Next turn, we can potentially do something like attack with both. If either gets through, Stikuchi silencer, discarding bearer of memory. So this is a <laughs> this is a situation where we really wish we still had that turtle in our deck because we don't have anything going for us now, and we don't have any late game either. Spirit creature token. Hey, well, that is a very large thing. We'll attack with the trainee. gonna sneak in the silencer. I'm just gonna play a pair of that right here.
and go all attack and jutsu in the Gucci silencer for gloom shrieker Discard something to kill that two four tech wrecker. If so, what? Discard Bearer of Memory. Kill the tech wrecker. Play a Gloom Shrieker. Get back a Bearer of Memory. <laughs> We're kind of just. We just got like value, but at the same time, didn't do anything. So this thing, whenever it attacks, you can exile a non creature from your grave, or a card from your graveyard, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Oh man. That's pretty nuts. Fortunately, they're not going to have a super easy time attacking with this, even with that. They do have three things to get rid of. Restorate. Dang. This card is really good. All right. We're getting beat down by spirited companions. Okay. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man. Play the Merge Keeper. get to return their uh their tech record to the battlefield that's rough too because that makes it so that well our walking skyscraper on defense will be strong they choose not to discard a card 
Really? 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 Okay. Uh, if they didn't discard a card to get their tech wrecker back, I feel like we're in for a bad time. <laughs> what you got here? I'm just going to triple block that. There's a lot of combat tricks they could have. A lot of them blow us out. We're in a really bad spot anyway. And letting them just... Okay. What is... There's that one... The plus X plus X, where X is the number of creatures you control, I'm pretty sure. So what are they exiling? They're exiling our Gloom Shrieker. All right, that is perfectly fine. What else? This thing that we have to deal with next turn. Another spirited companion. Are you for real over there? Holy cow, mono spirited companions. We'll go get another forest. A Tanuki. Play a bearer of memory. We're still not out of this, but it's <laughs> it's looking gross. This skyscraper. Could do big stuff for us. If we draw a land naturally next turn and we don't have to try and finagle something out, that could be good. They've just got so many one ones. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Invoke justice. Oh man. This is not justice. This is anti-justice. Uh, all right. I guess we're going block. Block, block, take six, go to two. Good game. GG. That's more like how I expected our deck to play out. I think we need to mulligan hard for our early game plays. Because <laughs> we kind of just kept a middling hand there, and our deck just, that's not what it's doing. It, our deck hits hard in the early game when it gets all its millions of two drops, and in the late game, we have a few things that are large. You know what? Well, no. 
Do we want that turtle? I think we do want to put the turtle in. Don't know what for though. We're going to go out with a bearer of memory in with a turtle. And then we're going to go minus one forest. Minus two forests. Plus one Thornwood Falls. Plus one island. I think just having, well, I think that those three mana three twos are essentially late game in this deck. And in that case, I'd rather just have the turtle get stuff back from our graveyard for three mana rather than just being a three two body. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure. All right, well, here is a hand. <laughs> we will keep this. We've got turn two tech wrecker. We've got our turtle. Now we would rather have this be a three, two. <laughs> now is the time. Oof, do we just kill this? This thing gets big quickly or it makes stuff big quickly can also just go tech wrecker We'll get the tech wrecker out. Next turn, if we don't draw land, I think we'll tech wrecker ninjutsu in. Or maybe we let, if they play an enchantment creature, maybe we just tech wrecker kill an enchantment creature. If they don't. They play their own tech wrecker. All right. Well, that makes our decision easier. Trade tech wreckers. Get ours back. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can do something like lethal exploit their generous visitor, attack with Gloom Shrieker. All right, come on, land. Show me a land, please, deck. Please, yes. Hello, hello, land. All right, so we're gonna go lethal exploit on generous visitor. Attack with Bloom Shrieker. Ninjutsu in Tech Wrecker. Turn Bloom Shrieker to our hand. Take the action. Remove that. Exile their, <laughs> exile their dude. <laughs> All right. That was a good turn. Next turn, we can... <laughs> we can... <laughs> if they don't play anything... All right. So they played a Life Blinker. That's too bad. And a Death Touchier. That's too bad also. So now,
We'll go Gloom Shrieker. Oh wait, but that only returns a permanent card. Okay, we're gonna go attack with the Tech Wrecker. Colossal Sky Turtle. Discard it, get back lethal exploit. Give this thing minus two, minus two. And then pass the turn. <laughs> We're doing stuff. It's not very, uh, I think this is getting us slightly ahead. Next turn, we can attack with Tech Wrecker. All right, so they get some value there for sure. They get their Tech Wrecker back. That's not good for us. Play a Kunai. Whip to an eye on the tech wrecker. Do we do it now? Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do it now. The next turn we can Gloom Shrieker get back Kunai to be prepared to kill their Life Linker. Or if we draw land, we can kill their Life Linker. <laughs> this is what our deck wants to do. I'm not convinced it's good, but this is, our deck is doing what it wants to do so far. So now we can go... Bloom Shrieker. Get back, Kunai. Play Kunai. Equip Kunai. This time, I think we do wait until their turn. Or do we just use it right away? We'll just use it right away. I don't want to give them a chance to draw a trick. And I also don't want them on their turn to be able to use the trick and make their life linker bigger. Sure. I wish we had some of these. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do something really weird. Attack with our tech wrecker. And Jutsu in a Dakuchi silencer. Ninjutsu back in tech wrecker. <laughs> I 
give the damage. New plan. Ninjutsu back in Dakuchi Silencer. I hope you're ready to lose. I think we're gonna discard Jukai Preserver. Oh no! Oh this no! Is what you get for hurting my people. I didn't think about that. Mistakes were made. Ugh. So I could have potentially, if they had used their hero, if they had used their ability there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that hurts. That was a big misplay. I was thinking that they were going to just make a 2 2. The exile tap creature. Now they get two things back. We're going to have a tough time here. We can play Tech Wrecker. And then the turn after, we can spinning wheel kick, killing two creatures. Or three creatures. If we draw another land. For now, we go like this. Make this a 4-4. Four, four. So if they just give something plus one, plus one here, and we draw a land, we can wipe their whole board. If we, yeah, if we draw a land, if they give something plus one, plus one, and they only play their tech record. Okay. Remember your training. They do just give something plus one, plus one. Oh, no. Well, we can still wipe their whole board. Oh, and this is an enchantment. I mean, yeah. There was no playing around that. Oof. We, we would have drawn the land, though. All right. Man. Guards, to me. Don't think there's anything in our deck that wins the game from here for us. We could draw our 8-8 eight, eight for 8. Mm. That doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> that does actual nothing.
We must protect yeah. the people. Yeah. Don't think there's anything in our deck that wins this for us. Take eight. If we draw our... That's not going to be enough. We can play her and kill two things. Not enough. GG. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we were going to lose that no matter how we played it. Still feels bad to make a big mistake, like forgetting that she has a third ability on her. Uh, be right back one second. I'm going to run to the restroom and then we will carry on. All right, I'm back. Let's keep going. So I will say we're only on day two of this format <clears throat> and I have had more fun than I think any, any limited format I've played. <laughs> There's just <laughs> the, the ninjutsu, uh, except for cube. Uh, this, is like, this is like cube, but a just regular set. That's what it feels like. You're just doing all sorts of really tricky, powerful stuff. You're ninjutsuing and ninjutsuing and then re ninjutsuing. Ah, oh, it's such a good set. It, it, this is such a good set. It really, really is. I'm loving this. Um, like that game, we just, we did so many cool things that game. And it felt really good. And even if we couldn't have won, uh, it felt like we were doing lots of interesting, fun stuff that was getting us back into the game and our opponent could have made a mistake. Okay. Next turn. Against that, I think we are going to go ahead and uh, just spinning wheel kick, wheel kick, spend four to kill this thing. Start giving beats. Wow, they went top, top. That is terrifying. Maybe we won't spinning wheel kick anymore. Although... I think we will. I think we're going to spinning wheel kick, kick X equals one. Go like that. Give this thing a plus one, plus one counter.
Go unforgiving one. We'll go pre-combat unforgiving one. Give the attacks. That way they probably end up trading. game <laughs> we're gonna have a bit of a time this turtle is great uh, even when you can't cast it as a creature just be able to discard it and get A spinning wheel kick back with this at some point or a kunai back we're just gonna go kunai equip it now how fancy do we want to get here do we need to stop this attack is it okay to just wait until their turn or do we kill this now I think we kill this now. Because our trick is on board. I really hate risking the blowout just to save two life there. I think that's a bit too dangerous. Oh, uh, that's so good though. All right. So we can go. Coiling Stalker. I only have five mana. We're just going to get beat down into oblivion here, which is too bad. All right. If we draw exactly island next turn. Oof. All right, so I could use this turtle to get back any of these cards, right? I'm pretty sure that's just a guaranteed game loss. I think that keeping the turtle in my hand and going for the one in 27 chance that we draw exactly island and can play this, I think that's our route to victory we don't get it we do get a cap attack record and now now we have a reason to get the cards back from our graveyard
So now we'll use our Sky Turtle to get back Spinning Wheel Kick, which we wouldn't have got back last turn if we didn't know we were going to draw that Tech Wrecker. Sky Turtle. Get back Spinning Wheel Kick. Draw another Spinning Wheel Kick. Oh no, I should have, well, no. Hmm. Now things are interesting. We can kill this. I, okay, I just want to find out if this actually works. This may... So if we go deal damage, take action, destroy that. Do two in. So it does work. You can ninjutsu after damage. <laughs> so we can trigger our tech wrecker. Wow. That was, I think that was a big game. I guess we just attacked with all. Put a plus one, plus one counter on yourself. Decline that. everything again put a plus one plus one counter on merge keeper decline that play a swamp Why couldn't I do it that time? Oh. oh, that is frustrating. That is really frustrating. It didn't give me an opportunity. Uh, didn't give me an opportunity to uh, ninjutsu in my guy, return my tech record to my hand and play the tech record back out. And then I didn't play the two one because I was going to, uh, because I wanted to save the ninjutsu because that, well, because basically because I, that thing got skipped and I just passed the turn after that. Oh, oh, that was painful. That should have been a win. <laughs> I wonder why it didn't give me the opportunity to, uh, and I had full control held 
So you must have to do it. It must. I'm not sure what the rules reasoning for that would be. Maybe full control just, maybe I needed to put a stop on the damage step, even with full control held. I needed to put a stop on the damage step in order to be able to swap it out. Or maybe the reason I was able to do it before was because there were triggers on the stack. And once there's no triggers on the stack, you're no longer able to do ninjutsu. Oh, man. And then I got greedy. Like, why would I want to hold on to that? The Gucci silencer. I should have just played it in case there was a haste creature. Oh, man. That's a way to go out for the day. That's a sad ending. <laughs> the saddest, the saddest of endings for the day. But sometimes... You have to end on a sad times ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed the magic for the day. Definitely learned a lot about rules. We learned that um, with that card. Let's go look at that card real quick, actually. So this one, I was actually really confused by because even LSV read this. The say, or I got the idea from LSV to begin with, I guess. Um, so this four mana card, the long reach of night, each opponent sacrifices a creature unless they discard a card. It sounds like you can choose, if you have no creatures on board, you can choose not to discard a card and choose to sacrifice a creature. But if you have no creatures, it does nothing. That's not how it plays out on arena though. Uh, if you have no creatures on board, you must discard a card. So I'm not sure if that's a programming thing on Arena or if that's just how the card works. But with that, yeah, you you must sacrifice a creature or you must discard a card if you have no creatures to sacrifice. So that's that's thing number one that we learned. Thing number two that we learned is that ninjutsu is much more complicated. <laughs> Ninjutsu is much more complicated than I would expect. Oh man. There's there's something there with full control and ninjutsu. Next time we try to do that, we're going to have to remember to put a stop on the damage step and hold full control and see if then it gives us the opportunity to, to, after damage, return the thing to your hand. That said, I should have just knowing that Magic Arena is weird and that stops, especially in Magic Arena are weird. I should have just in response to the trigger done the ninjutsu. Um, Honestly, that was a bit of fancy play syndrome. Realistically, double realistically, I should have just played the 2-1, dealt one extra damage, not worried about destroying their useless artifact that was on the board, and played the the turtle out um, down there. So I was trying to maximize value in a situation where I didn't need to maximize value on an application that is just very unintuitive in ways like that with, with full control situations, especially I just, I have no idea how it works a lot of the time and how I'm supposed to hold things or be playing and whether it's even going to give me an opportunity to do what I want. I run into a lot of situations like that on arena. So I should have known that I should have just played the safe route. Instead, we, we lost the game and that's on me. So lessons for the future. Those are what we learned today. Now it's time for some Lost Ark. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the magic. I hope that uh, you learned 